Ethiopians. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We Eritreans and Ethiopians are profoundly dismayed by the exclusive um, executive order President Joseph R. Biden Jr. signed on September 17, 2021 and the subsequent sanction imposed on Eritrea in November 12, 2021 based on disinformation orchestrated by the TPLF and their enablers whose reports are based on this group's fabrication and words of certain NGOs. Eritrea, as a, Ethiopia as a sovereign nation, has designated the TPLF as a terrorist due to its repeated seditious military acts and genocidal Go ahead, go ahead, just... Genocidal activities against innocent civilians. Similarly, Eritrea, despite the repeated unprovoked terrorist attacks by the TBLF, has continued to be a stabilizing force in the region. Hence, it is unbecoming for a superpower that wields strong international diplomatic and economic clouds to enable terrorist organization that is determined to destabilize the Horn of Africa and help bend on feeding ethnic groups of the region against each other to prolong life is life. The U.S. sanction, collectively and concurrently, aims at punishing the victims, the people of Eritrea and Ethiopia and all the greater Horn of Africa. And this conflict, while whitewashing acts of per perpetrators, the TPLF, who have caused unprecedented damage, both in terms of human loss and property damage during the period when they had absolute power and since they were deposed by the popular vote in 2018. Bringing pressure to bear on Eritrea and Ethiopia to appease uh, and embolden a terrorist organization that has continually destabilized the region and fostered NMT among Ethiopia's ethnic groups as well as those of the rest of the Horn will have dire consequences on the region long-term political, diplomatic, economic, and security conditions. Inevitably, such, a, such an accomplice in a policy of appeasement will wreak havoc on the long-term security and foreign policy interests of the United States. It is indeed mind-boggling to see the United States of America standing on the side of a terrorist-designated group, the TPLF, the lip service to unity of Ethiopia notwithstanding. It is curious what the United States stands to gain by supporting a group that is determined to balkanize Ethiopia by creating but distance and redrawing international boundaries to serve a hidden agenda to eventually establish a statehood of greater Tigray. It looks as the Biden administration has repeated the mistake of previous U.S. administration that stood on the wrong side of history in the number of countries such as apartheid in South Africa and Angola. Therefore, it is incumbent upon the U.S. to correct the strong policies and condemn TBLF adventurous military activities in the Horn of Africa. It also has to support Eritrea's right to defend its sovereignty from the group that had openly declared its intention to invade and had already launched dozens of rockets into Eritrean population centers. We, therefore, urge the current U.S. administration to stop supporting the terrorist group of TPLF, revoke the ill-advised executive order along with the subsequent act sanction, which will only embolden the TPLF, which is determined to sow chaos, cause death and destruction, and lead to a further instability and fragmentation of Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa. It is, and this is historic occasion. We call upon peace-loving people and nation of nations to denounce the unjust sanction against the people of Eritrea and demand that it is rescinded. We also demand that the U.S. refrain from undermining Ethiopian sovereignty rights as a nation. In conclusion, for the people of Eritrea, Ethiopia, the greater horn of Africa, to live in peace and stability. It is high time that we stand together so that Eritrea, Ethiopia, and the horn of Africa prevail. Awas nafash.